All right, so we've got a splice open. We're not going to do that just yet. So here we go. We start off with a blank canvas. So uh, the first thing I do, and in this exercise, the first thing I'm going to do is, is kind of like look up uh, a bunch of themes and just DM me if you want a copy of this uh, theme sheet. I can send that over to you. A lot of people have lots of different ones kind of floating around. But so, um, and yesterday, I and on the video, I go through all this again. So we're just going to quickly summarize um, how I came up with the song. So I came, I thought, Okay, if I'm doing a singer-songwriter song, I've got plenty of home songs. I, I really have got a bunch of those. Uh, you can do it. It's more of an action kind of feel kind of song. Uh, brand new day. Nothing was really jumping out to me until I got down to uh, loving life. Good life, loving life. And I thought, right, let me do an acoustic kind of version of loving life. I think that could be really uh, something pretty cool. So uh, so that's where I headed. So I just typed up loving life. And here we go. We're going to scroll down. There we go. <laughs> so I came up with Loving Life. So um, that's my title. So that's going to be the title of the song. So I can actually close this. So I get that out of the way. So then, then all I did was I went straight to the chorus. So as you can see down here in the chorus, we're going to come up to here and I'll explain what some of this means. But the chorus is I just kind of came up with, because I'm loving life. Uh, and actually, that's twice. So I'm loving life, uh, you know, living in the here and now. So and that, that's just the idea of the song. So the chorus was I'm loving life. And uh, so then everything points to the chorus. So then I went back to the verse and I was like, all right, what, what are we going to say here? Now, in, uh, if you see these BPs, that means blueprint. So in summary, um, you know, in the first verse, I'm going to say, why am I loving life? What are some reasons? And then uh, another, another blueprint or another uh, option is what makes me love life? So why am I loving life? These are these kind of like when you put a blueprint for what you're trying to say, it actually makes it even a little bit more clearer. It's like a step in between um, the, uh, the, the chorus to the, you know, so instead of just everything looking back to the chorus, loving life, you can actually look and, and you plan out a little bit more. So I like doing blueprints. So the blueprint for, uh, for the verse was, uh, for the first verse is, uh, you know, and I just I wrote all this. You'll see that um, I added some O's. When you watch the other video, you'll see the, app, the O's kind of just flowed out and I just added them. So this was just a first take and I just kind of like, I've tweaked a couple of these lines, but it pretty much, I didn't change that much. I think nothing's gonna shake it. <laughs> I think I changed it me. So, um, so yeah, so uh, then I went down and this part was kind of a, a, a you know, I added that as a pre-chorus that kind of just kind of flow it, flow, flowed out. And, uh, and then I did verse two. What's the blueprint for the verse two? Why am I loving life? It's still the same. So I can still go with that. And everything is flying by so fast. That was another little phrase that I kind of came up with, meaning that, you know, I'm loving life because, you know, days are fading away. You know, it's, it's already the weekend and now I can't remember Monday, you know. <laughs> so it's like, um, you know, uh, so I that that blueprint there was really cool. Everything is flying by so fast. Now, um, when you watch the video of how I wrote wrote the song, uh, it's very fast. Now, of course, you can take your time with it, but I wanted to keep the flowing. I just wanted to show you these steps. And of course, you can take the time to um, really dive in. But anyway, so some of the first things that came out were days slip into months, years slip into memories, uh, let go of yesterdays. I actually had yesterdays written here, but tomorrow's actually rolls off the tongue a little bit more. Yesterday versus tomorrow's. So that kind of flows off some hearts beat heart beats are for now. And I kind of like that. Like, I don't know how that came out, but I like, I like that heart beats are for now. They're not living, uh, you know, I'm loving life. I kind of, I like it, <laughs> you know, when that came out, it was just like, Oh, so the flow just hit me. And I just typed it. I'm like, well, that was good. I'm, you know, I'm the first one to hear it. And I'm like, Oh, I liked that. I don't know how I came up with that, but I like it. So, um, so you find yourself when you allow yourself, when you turn on that uh, faucet and you let the water come out, you let the, the just the flow you know it's just you know you write all these write some dumb things and then you write some good come good uh some good lines and you're like wow that's that's i like it you know and that's at the end of the day if you really like something um that's gold because you have to go back and listen to it and listen to it and listen to it and at the end of the day you're going to be hearing this song probably more times than anyone else so uh you're going to go over it mixing the process listening to it, showing your friends and all that stuff so anyway so we got the we got the um the song typed up just delete that um and so then so then we went ahead and recorded all the parts so let me just break down what we came up here's the session 
Um, somebody give me some thumbs up if you can hear it. These are the moments worth holding on to. All right, cool. All right, cool. So, um, turn this down. So we, uh, without doing the vocals here, let me just mute those. Uh, we came up with all these guitar parts, see? Look at I saved you guys from, look at all this. Three, four minutes trying to arrange, and here's all the, the, the guide ones, or the, uh, the ones that I wasn't quite sure. So you guys can thank me later. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, but yeah, so there's a lot of stuff that you can fast forward through on the, uh, on the video. So, so I came up with the verse first. Let me just, that's what I came up for the first. A chorus, sorry. Let me try Two, three. Now you'll see what I did is I actually kept the click going and everything because this is just the guide of the song. This is just the, um, uh, I just wanted to kind of put the pieces together. So I didn't really care. I just had this click going and everything. So you can hear the click, but it's just that idea. Two, three, four. All right, so I liked that chorus. So that was the chorus. I kind of like, well, let, let's keep that. I think I like that. So, um, and again, I'm just summarizing exactly what I did yesterday. So then I went and did a, okay, I had a chorus that I liked. So then I did a verse. So. <laughs> I don't know if you guys picked that up, but in that little guide part, I did. I said something about a dream <laughs> because I wanted the idea of dream, you know, in the in the song, but I didn't have a lyric for it, so I just used a placeholder just to kind of get through. Let's have a listen again. See that. Yes, absolutely, Eddie. Uh, lots of gibberish. So uh, it's it's, but it's just the ideas. It's just like as I'm writing it, I'm like, I, I don't like that, or I like that, um, and you know, I just let's sit. So then I uh, piece it together on this third take, uh, the verse, pre-chorus, and chorus, and everything. And so let's just fast forward to today, right now, today. So we've just uh, recorded all those parts. We we did the guitar. We did the guitar first because I wanted it to, um, which is four takes up here. Um, I wanted to do the guitar first and then um, I did a couple of extra guitar lines to use in there somewhere. Um, so extra couple of guitar lines and then I did the, did the vocals up here, the lead vocals. I got four takes of them in pieces, which we're going to go through and comp them real quick. Uh, and then I did the did some harmonies and hopefully we've got a lot of our singer songwriter stuff here. And then I'm going to, you know, add any other stuff uh, up there. But let's go. I'll go ahead and I'll play you what what I've come up with um, so far. Um, oh no, I should leave that on. Got to get the tuning on. Save your guys' ears. <laughs> All right, so let's play these acoustics there. And these are just a couple little parts I put down. All right, so here we go. So um, as I'm playing through, you're going to see uh, kind of my process for everything is I kind of edit, uh, produce, 
and mix nearly at the same time, uh, I do save about probably 20 to 30% of the mixing to be strictly in mixing where I'm just balancing EQs. But simple things like, like this, like these are the guitars here. Uh, this one's a little out. So that's a, this is part of what I would call editing. So, you know, I would just uh, cut this a little bit here. Um, let me put it on the grid. So I'm going to be editing a little bit as we go, kind of mixing. So you're going to kind of see a little bit of a crossover there. So. All right, here's a little tip for the vocalist too. Uh, I did that first line. This is a great little tip. Um, uh, I did feel like I'm lifted. So I actually sang it once and it's kind of like you're warming up your voice or you're setting up your voice because then you come in and sing. So I'm actually going to be deleting those in, in a minute, but um, they don't come in, but it's like a practice run before you come into the real one. So the real one's here and the practice one's there. So let's, I'll just play you the practice one as I'm kind of like warming up my, not warming up my voice, but just flowing, getting it going, you know, cause I've already warmed up earlier on in the day. So here it is. Feel like I'm lifted, like I am on top of the world. Oh, and nothing's gonna shake me. It's more than just a dream. These are the moments worth holding on to. I am loving life. I am loving life and living in the here and the now Winning just because I'm alive, I'm loving life I'm loving life Days slip into months Years slip into memories, oh let go of tomorrow's heartbeats of the here and now. Oh, so they are the moments worth holding on to. Hi, love and life. All right, so that's a high harmony. Obviously, I've got no melody in there. Let's just pop this one up here. I am loving life and I am loving life Living in the here and the now I'm loving life I am loving life Living in the here and the now Winning just because I'm alive and living in the here and the now and winning just because I'm alive, I'm loving life. Ah, uh, there's a what's here? No, I didn't have anything like that. Mm, I'm loving life. I'm loving life. All right, so I didn't do a last one. Maybe that's, uh, uh, thanks guys, thanks. Yeah, it's, um, you watch the video, yeah, uh, the one that I did yesterday um, when it comes out, but you'll kind of see more of the stuff, how uh, it kind of, uh, you know, plate, you know, it kind of, uh, it built from there. But, um, but anyway, so we've got our parts there. What I'm thinking is we need some, I need to clean it up, which is what we're gonna do now. And we're gonna comp it. Um, uh, and you're going to see kind of what I, how I comp it. And I'm going to try and do things a little quicker um, just to kind of keep the mo momentum going. And then we're going to start putting some more, um, we're going to add some extra little stuff. And I want to do a couple of little tricky stuff, like uh, some reverse stuff. I want to do maybe a piano melody and, and just some bells and whistles. I, I don't think we're going to have a beat, maybe a shaker come in in the chorus, um, but I want to kind of keep this stripped down to it's more of that singer song, right? And I actually want to 
I want you guys to be able to, uh, you know, especially if you haven't done this before, realize that you don't need that much stuff to to create a uh, really cool song. So, uh, and a song that that's definitely placeable. Like this one, I'm going to send it straight off to a um, to a publisher, and I know uh, they've signed everything I've sent to them. Uh, they love us so, and and they've got a bunch of the placements. Uh, and this is right. This is no different to what they've signed before. So. So you'll see, I'm not even gonna put any bass guitar in it. I think we're just gonna keep it uh, like that. So let me get rid of these old um, parts. We'll get rid of some bass. So now we're just cleaning it up. Um, oops, delete. All right, we'll come back and add any of these other stuff. Uh, percussion up there. Um, let's just do the percussion now, or oh, just a shaker. Uh, so Easy Drummer is one of my favorites. Easy, such a great such a quick go-to for a shaker. Um, so you just go uh, in, where is it? Uh, browser, a percussion kit here, uh, a shaker. So let's do a, um, an eighth, maybe one in it. On that, 16. I... You can have an accent on the one, oh, one, one and a two, and a three, or an accent on all of them. I think one and one and a, Two, one and a three, I think. What's that? I, I am a loving life I am a loving life Live. All right, so there it is. Done. So the shakers, this is so easy, so quick. So we're just going to use that for the chorus. Uh, we're going to be turning that down a little bit. One thing I like to do is I don't like to have that shaker run uh, out far to the left. I want to keep it more in the middle, especially if it's such a uh, um, soft or something, meaning that there's not going to be that many musical parts. There's not going to be that many moving parts. So I just want to keep that um, uh, closer to the center because it's a little smaller sounding song. All right, so we make sure that one's on the grid. And I want to, I am a loving life. Uh, then we might take it off here. I'm loving life. Days slip in two months. Years slip in the memories. Oh. All right, since I'm on it, I'm just going with the flow. Uh, I am actually going to add a, um, uh, I don't want to get too busy with it. So I might just add a, now that's where the piano will go. So let me just create a piano. Um, uh, instrument. All right, so I am going to load uh, one of my favorites. I've had this favorite for quite a while. Um, emotional. Um, Emotional keys, I love them. What kind of interface do you use? Uh, this, I got two different interfaces. Uh, let me load this piano. Where's my piano? Emotional keys. Where did my keys go? There they are, emotional piano. Um, let's go with the jazz here. So, um, uh, my interface, I got two interfaces or three. I got one that's um, a little Apogee thing. That's my portable one, but I hardly ever use that. Um, that's if I'm you know, on a plane or something, I want to record something. I have a, an SSL2, which is, I love the, the channels. The only reason I bought it because it's got these two channels, uh, the 4K. Um, but my main interface is my uh, Hilo. Um, it's, uh, by, um, it's by Lynx. Um, you know, I think they pronounce it I Elo, Elo, it's like two and a half grand. So it's a really good interface. It's a really good converter. Um, and, uh, you know, but uh, yeah, that's my main converter, uh, my main interface. So, uh, but if you're in, if you're in the market looking for a new or a new one, I love these SSLs. These are so cool. Having those four, 4K uh, channels, legacy channels, amazing. All right, so I'm actually gonna put down some um, piano here. Let's see if I can shrink this a little bit. All right, so we don't probably don't need the lyrics anymore. So let's get that out of the way. 
I got a little screen here. I'm trying to make sure everything fits so you guys can see it all. So uh, great question, Stacey. Good question. So, all right. So we, um, let's double check the piano. Yes, we have piano. So get out my pedal. Uh, there's a little bit of a delay. Let's see if we can get rid of that delay. It'll wait and see. Hopefully. It's a bit of latency, but we'll just uh we're gonna come in on those chords. Let go on my so what I'm going to do is in the first chorus, because I want to constantly keep building, uh, I'm just going to play the bass notes on piano. And then, um, I, then I'm going to play chords in the next one. So if I remember the song, D. Uh, let's see if I holding on to, I am loving life. I am loving life. That's all we're going to do for that first chorus. Um, let me just make sure I quantize it on. All right, so now one of those I played a little bit too loud, so let's just. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to create two pianos. One is going to do that. And I'm going to put a ton of reverb on it. And I'm actually going to change the sound to be a different kind of piano. Uh, and then this one over here that I'm going to do the chords is going to be the regular one. So. Holding on to. So I played an A minor, an A major. So we got a mistake there. You can see that little guy there. All right, let's do the rest of the course now. So. Uh, 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 oops. So because I've got a lot of guitar parts moving, ding, 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 I think I'm just going to hold down those chords to just create uh, contrast. I'm not going to go ding, 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 because there's going to be too much of that kind of that moving part. So I'm just going to go. That's all I'm going to do, so. I'm loving life. To I am a 
loving life in high I'm loving life Living in the here and the now Winning just because I'm alive I am loving life the chorus. I'm going to redo that because I go back to I forget where I was in the song and I'm too Loving life and I am loving life, living in the here and the now, winning just because I'm alive. I am a all right. Two mistakes there got away from me. Okay, so let's just keep that and we're just gonna double it, make it really easy. Um, two. Uh, make sure all the way out. Let's see if that works. I, I am a loving life and I am a loving life living in the here and the now. Winning just because I'm alive. Living. Oh, then I just repeat it. All right, cool. So let's just add, uh, make sure that's in time. I quantize most stuff. Now you can go back and get it more feeling and, uh, but quantizing is definitely quick and easy. So, uh, you know, if it's not a main part, um, then, you know, if it's not, then I'll, I'll kind of quantize. I, I usually quantize a lot and then I'll go back if it feels too stiff or, uh, you know, so. Uh, mm, I'm living life. See that lost a chord there. My right hand didn't keep up. <laughs> so, uh, all right, what chord have we got here? So we're gonna figure out the chord too. It's a B, it's actually a D with a B bass. So let's just do a D here. D is my B bass. And it should be an A. There we go. Done. All right, cool. Now we'll go through and we'll clean that up a later, but that's that's our main um, main part. Now I'm actually gonna add this extra um because i think i'm going to put like some low frequency stuff on it so it's got that low it's going to be a low bassy kind of thing Here and now. wrong part So that obviously sounds really, really strong or really, really loud. It's it's maxed out. I'm actually going to change that to um, 
something more i want to do more something organic i know the giant uh keyboard is pretty cool i'm just going to find another uh, piano um let's just do a uh let's do the mavericks are pretty cool basically it's just another piano Let's just solo that for a second. All right, let's leave it that for a second. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to make sure they're all the same velocity because I don't want them moving up as I want just I just want an extra kind of a, a sound there. I don't want them um, jumping up and down in volume. So, so you can just highlight everything on that track, go all the way up, up as high as you can, and then bring it down. Cool shortcut. So they're all about the same now. There's movement. Yeah, there you go. Fine there. So, um, and then what we're going to do here too, we're going to drop these down an octave uh, or oops. We are just going to drop down a shortcut. I'm just going to drop them down. Actually, no, I'm going to add two. I'm just going to copy it. And so it's kind of like uh, the thumb and the little finger. So I'm going to. Yeah, it's got that lower stuff now. That's great. <laughs> Even in the one, three. Yeah, it might be too much. So then the last thing we'll do is I can hear the um, sustain. Uh, I just held the pedal down the whole time. So there's a little shortcut that I do. Uh, I take it off grid. Zoom right in and I just highlight this little part. And I just, where's my system? Oh, it needs to be up. Hang on. It's all the way on. Then what I do is I just take this down and then I actually uh, put it back on the grid. And then I copy this for the first measure. And then I do it every chord like that. And then if you zoom right in, it's just after the note played it. So it's kind of like a perfect player. <laughs> uh, the guitar, um, as, I, as you guys probably know, I'm a guitarist. That's my first, that's my strength. That's my, um, that's where I hang. So all the expression comes out on the guitar. Now, if you're a piano player, then flip flop, you know, do it the other way where, um, uh, oops, you're, you know, you all the expression because it's kind of what I'm doing now. It's it's making it 100% correct, but there's no no human movement to it. But for 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 these this song, my guitar has all the movement. So so that's oops, not a big deal. Okay, cool. So. Um, there we go. We'll do the same thing while we're on the top piano. Um, just curious, uh, who's on? Uh, do we have any Pro Tools people out there? Actually, go ahead if you if you if you if you can put type in the chat what you are. Uh, just say Logic or Pro Tools or uh, Studio One. Cool. Studio and Pro Tools Logic, Cubase, Pro Tools Live, and cool. Yeah, so this, this um, you probably see all these shortcuts uh, good for, um, uh, for Pro Tools users. Now, 
if if the cool thing in um, in uh, Studio One is you can import these these shortcuts over to uh, uh, well actually you can translate a lot of these but if there's a if it's a keyboard shortcut then you can you can use the, the Pro Tools in Studio One which is that's what I loved about Studio One when I first got it. I was like let no learning curve okay so um, sustain. All right, so this is more of my natural sustain that I did when I played. It might sound okay. Let's go have a listen through and then we'll fix yeah. up what's going on. So I heard one extra loud. You can see it's a darker one. So that's extra loud and just stuck out. This is what a, a compressor, uh, so compression, compress, and a, a compressor does this, but I'm actually going to do it manually, which is like better. So this one over here, if you look up in the corner, it says 149 over here. So when you hold down shift and you hold, you can see. So I don't want this one to be much, I don't want it to be 149, somewhere in there, 148, six, that's fine. So not like 70. So now it's going to come out. And that chord there, I don't think. That was that chord before. See, our ears said it was okay before, but I'm not happy with that. Let's just go. Um, I'm loving the doom, doom, D, doom. So I should have a bass there, B. Too much, maybe. Um, So it's still bugging me. So guess what we're going to do? We're just going to turn it down a little bit and see if it keeps bugging us. So there's a little trick. Uh, I don't know what it is. Sometimes when you zoom in on focus on something, it just doesn't get better and it gets worse. And you're just like, ah, what's going on? But also I've got the piano turned up quite loud here. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's plus nine. So I keep, everything should be at the loudest. It should be at zero. So I hardly ever go plus one or plus two or anything. Everything's at zero. And um, uh, the other, and you go down, you go the opposite way when you're mixing. So everything, if, if it's too loud, then if, if zero is your, your, your ceiling, then everything needs to be below that. So that's kind of a good kind of, um, just a philosophy to kind of have. Yeah, unity gain, exactly. So, um, all right, here we go. So um, now I want to do a piano little thing at the very beginning, and then I want to reverse it. I think that's it. Let's just pull that, pull that down to my those other guitars. I do like those guitars, but I think a piano might be nice. Oh, that's what I was, was going to reverse it. So, what notes am I going to? See if we can get that. All right, we got a couple. I think we can do it better, be quicker just to nail it. Cool. 
Great. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I got this crazy idea. So go, come with me, guys. Let's do some uh, production craziness. So um, I want to reverse that. So um, uh, let me just have a listen. All right, it's good. Um, let's make sure all the notes are held out a bit longer. Great, so what we're gonna do here, we're gonna turn that to audio. Um, and so we're just gonna commit that. Uh, let's put a tiny bit of extra reverb on it before we commit. Uh, real quick, some, here's a plugin, I love Shimmer here. Uh, this is really, really cool. <laughs> yeah, it's stuck in your head. I'm sorry, <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> it's stuck in your head. Well, that's a good thing. So here we go. Uh... No, 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 actually I won't because I want to reverse into every note and I don't want to create, I want to put the shimmer on afterwards. So here we go, let's, uh, we are going to, only that section. We're going to commit that. There's my commit. Just that part. Do nothing. Uh, and I want it louder. That needs to be louder. Oh, let's go inside the box. Commit it. There we go, that's a lot better. That's what I wanted, a, 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 a higher way. So um, what do we got here? Now we have to reverse it. So what I wanna do is, oh, we reverse it. We just go up here, reverse that guy. Now you just create another track. That's the first note. It hits at the same time. Second note. Oops. We'll clean this up in a second. Second note there. Yep. Um, all right, we're going to create another track. I do want those to maybe bleed over each other if they sound okay. Actually, that might work if I go out there. We're just getting them in the right spot first. And if, if I did it right, then this should be close. Right. Yes, that's what I want. We've got the right note. All right, cool. So, um, Let's clean it up now. That's what I wanted. It's going to be turned down a lot more.
So it's actually got to hit more during the note, middle of the note, I think. Yeah, I like that. Oh, so this needs to be moved up. More of the middle than that. So let's go ahead now. Um, we're going to turn these down, but we're also going to put some. Uh, what if I can just put them on one channel? Let's just put them on one channel. It's kind of like just going to be in the background. But I like it. I think it's really going to add. That's the idea. More reverb on it. A uh, big fan of Valhalla. Give me a shout out if you love Valhalla. Awesome. So that's the idea. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna have to clean that up. I'm turning it down for now. Uh, and this part probably could just go up and off here. Real soft. Yeah, good, good, uh, Stacy. That um, yeah, that that plugin's awesome. Um, uh, the super super massive so that's great i love that um it needs a little bit of uh tweaking but we will come back to that so um all right so it just creates a little bit of extra ambience um let's go ahead and um let's go ahead and edit these guitars All right, so I am going to make make sure they're super tight. Great, let's go to the next part. These are just single notes, I think. Gosh, who did the guitar here, hey? Eh? Whoo! Somebody needs to be fired. Oh, hang on, that's me. <laughs> You can't fire yourself unless uh, that's the good thing about what I'm when you when you're doing this work for yourself. You can't fire yourself unless and if you do, then there's something seriously going on. <laughs> you might have to get checked out if you're firing yourself. Actually, that's probably called self-sabotaging. Self-sabotaging sabotaging yourself. All right, so. All right, hear that little noise? Get rid of that. I don't know what I was doing there. Decided the note was over before it was over. Maybe my fingers decided instead. So um, they're like, we're done with this note. 
All right, see, um, what I'm even doing here, I'm just actually even going by I. Um, a lot of the time you can, uh, you know, you can use, the, we've got great visual tools these days and you can double check it with your, uh, with your ears when you listen back and you're like, hang on, hang on, something's wrong. Uh, but going by your eye, it works great. You know, that's why, that's, that's what, that's the golden age we live in right now. So, um, so let's keep going. These are rung out chords, so I might use them later on as well. That could probably go for the chorus each time, but we'll come back to that. Good. The guitars are done. Let's get rid of that. Oh, no, no, sorry. Not all the guitars, just those. A little melody parts. Let's do the guitars. Now I like to, if I'm doing a thorough job, I will actually solo it and listen all the way through and get rid of little kinks or little like little noises. Uh, I'll try and get rid of those as well. And that's the reason why I do uh, usually three takes, three or four takes. The first take I was kind of like just organizing myself, not sure. So there's lots of wrong notes in that first one. The other two um, are, there's lots of good parts in there that it's just so quick on editing. If you have a look at this, this one's a little bit early, but this one's not. See, I can just grab that. This is so quick, just quick, quick little, um, right there. And so there's something wrong with that one. Let me just uh, move that down there and we, and you just see if that works, you know. A little early, but we'll see what it's going to sound like to the music. There's no drums in this, so it's not, it couldn't get away. It can get away with just a little bit of moving around uh, and not being totally on. Um, give myself a promotion. I am promoting myself to uh, lead, ed lead uh, editor and uh, janitor. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Do you double track and hard pan all your acoustic? A lot, yes, uh, yes, a lot, Drew. It's kind of, I, I just, it just works so well for me. Um, and it works really well too, I think if, um, uh, good question, James. Um, if, if the song is a big song, like there's lots of parts, I will hard pan them. If it's a softer song and in this song, I'm probably gonna go uh, 65. So um, I'm hard panning it now because it's actually easier for me to hear which one's wrong. Um, I always, I always, this one here, the channel here, I always, the top one, I always pan to that to that left ear and then um, the right to the right ear, when, especially when I'm editing, because if I hear it or a little thing, I know exactly where it is without even seeing on the track. So that's a little trick that I do. But when I go to mix this, I think I'm going to be pulling these in a bit, maybe 70, maybe 65, we'll see. Um, uh, but that's, yeah. See, see, I can hear that one jumped out and that's that's uh, not okay. But look up here. Now, uh, the, now the top one, let's see if it's the right one. Yep, there you go. A little bit out there. You can see he's out. Look up here. Look, nailed it. So, so officially, you can say to people, "Nailed it." First take on that first take. <laughs> Not really. Uh, maybe. Like another one. So I have this one over here. I think that's no, it's the wrong one. So let's just grab this. Bring it down. Getting a little fast there. Getting a little excited. I'm like, woohoo, we're getting into the song here. They're all excited. Okay, so um, let's just pull this one back a little bit then. See if we can hear that.
this one's really happy. This one up here is like, I love this song. <laughs> He's so stoked. That take. Oh, there he is. Uh, how do you do those crossfades so quickly? Um, in Pro Tools up here, if you go up here, um, you have it set on all of these, not just one of these. And then when you do a cut um, like this one, uh, you drag it across and um, let's say there, actually this one needs to go up here. Let's do this one. So you move it to the right place and then you just drag it out with this tool. And then you go down to the bottom and it's got set, set on both of these. So when you move up, you do a fade at the top. Uh, and that's what this tool, this multi-tool does up here. You can kind of do a few different things at the right time. So at the same time. Yeah, smart, smart tool. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> Only smart people know the, the, uh, the, the smart, the answer, the smart answer. I just click on that button up there and uh, it, uh, it does what it, uh, it does something cool. All right, so I guess this one made a mistake and then decided to quit for that whole measure, two measures. So uh, nice take there, buddy. That's, that's why we have spares. all right so we got a little bit of a um a retired endo towards the end here so let's just make sure we get this right so there is a bit of a um different sound there that's it though um let's see if we can just make that a bit smaller Perfect. All right, so I just zoomed way out to see if there's any little, I can just, I'm using my eyes as well as uh, my ears. So um, there's no bumps here, there's a little bump here, but I'm sure that's nothing. Um, obviously there's a big, when I unplugged or bumped something there. So, so I just have a look, I zoomed right in and just made these tracks as big as I can. And I can see that there's no issues in there. And so I know that when I zoom back out, there shouldn't be any clock, uh, clicks, pops or any buzzes. There is. Okay, so I can hear the, um, it's in the right ear there. There is, so let's, let's get rid of that. So that's why I have these spares up here because you definitely need that to ring out to be nice and clear. And I guess it was something like, uh, I think it was the, the lacquer on the, um, the lacquer on, the, on the, the guitar was like rubbing on my jeans as I was like, trying not to move, but it's like, you still move a tiny bit. So you can hear that. So we wanna make sure that. Great. 
Awesome. Okay, so there we go. We've got the, done the guitars. Let's go ahead and just not delete these, but let's hide these. So now we've got the guitars. Now, um, I, you might have seen I put an EQ on it. Uh, there's a little mixing thing. I'm just uh, one step, taking one step ahead, taking off some lows because um, don't, we don't need those lows in there. I, like I want that piano to be really clear. So that's why I want to keep that piano in there. So let's go ahead now and um, do the boring editing of the vocals. Uh, this is how you vocal comp. Uh, yeah, somebody was asking about um, uh, Revoice Pro uh, or Vocal Line. I don't, um, uh, yes, I think they do. I think it does actually. There's so much you can do with Vocal Line, but I don't know. I did used to um, uh, use it a lot more, but I only really use it when I have stacks and stacks and stacks of parts, like, you know, 15 backing vocals and I just got to stack them all together because they're all singing the same thing. Um, most of the time, always try and get it right when you record it, try and nail it as close as you can. The next step is um, edit it, manually editing it. That's the second step. And then start using effects and plugins as a next option. But you'll always have a better stuff if you start off with that kind of in mind. So nail it, get the performance, um, you know, get the performance as best as you possibly can, you know. I've heard performances with uh, um, Michael Jackson, like in the Jackson 5 when he was like 10 years old. Two takes. The first take was just brilliant. Second take was brilliant. The first take had a tiny little bit more energy. And uh, that's what was in the record. So it's like I've heard the actual, the the actual tracks. And it's like you've got to get it right from the very, very, very beginning. And so, um, so as close as you can um, and then, then work you out. All right, cool. So let's, let's comp our vocals now. So what I did is I created another track. Um, this is going to be our comp here, so let's just get rid of that. One little effect I like to put on is um, this Chris Lord Algae um, vocal plugin is phenomenal. You've got to get this. It's only like I think they're in, they go on sale all the time, but I think you can get them for twenty nine bucks. Uh, this vocal plugin is just awesome. It's just so quick, and you can get an awesome sound so so quick. So um, so anyway, so I like to put it on when I'm comping my vocals. I like to put all the effects or all the the sound on it. Uh, as I'm listening to, because that's what I'm listening. I'm listening to the final sound. That's what I'm trying to find. Uh, so I, I go to Rock Man. That's pretty cool. Uh, when I am mixing, usually I take these verbs off and I do the do my own verbs, but uh, and delays. But I'll show you that in, as we get to that. So all right. So I'm just copying all those. So they all sound the same. They're all at zero. So there's no difference. And let's have a listen. Hopefully, we won't have too many bad ones here. I feel like I'm lifted. I feel like I'm. No. I feel like I'm lifted. No. I'm lifted. I'm. I feel like I'm lifted. I think I like the first one. I feel like I'm lifted. Like I am on top of the world, oh Like I am on top of the world, oh Lifted Like I am on top of the world, oh Like I am on top of the world, oh Nothing's gonna shake me Lifted like I'm on top of the world, oh, nothing's going. Ha, I don't even know what I'm saying. You didn't the world. Say the word. Hey, I'm, I'm making up the word my, as I'm singing. Top of the world, oh, nothing's gonna shake me. There we go, nothing's gonna shake me, there we go. It's more than shake me. So as I'm going, see, I don't need all that. There's like little mouth saliva pops or something. You just cut it right there. You, know, you don't need it. Take me. It's more, of, it's more of an editing thing. It's more than just a dream. Take me. It's more than just a dream. I like that first part. But... Take me. It's more than just a dream These are the moments Worth holding on to 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 Worth holding
worth holding on to I want to want to Somebody teach these guys to sing. I Maybe I got it better in the other one. Who I am a loving life. I am a loving life. Living in the here and the now. Winning just because I'm alive. I'm loving life. All right, not bad, not bad. So that's um, uh, let's go back. Cause I'm a, just because I'm alive, winning just cause I'm a living just because it should be just because winning, winning just because I think I got it just because I'm alive. I'm loving life, winning just because. Because I'm alive, I'm loving life. Because I'm alive, I'm loving life. It's because it's because I'm alive, I'm loving life. Okay, so um we're gonna have to find one here. I did I like the energy of that one. Just because I'm alive, I'm loving life. Just because I'm alive, I'm just because I'm alive, I'm loving life. Yeah, let's see if we got something else there. Just because I'm alive, I'm loving life. Just because I'm alive, I'm loving life. That's better. I like that one better. Um, let's just get rid of that a little bit. Just because I'm alive, I'm loving life. 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 I think that first one's the best. I'm loving life. No, second one. I'm loving life. I'm loving life. Yeah, we'll see how the uh, the tuning picks up that, but let's keep moving on. They slip in two months. Day slip in two months. Day slip in two months. What the energy? Years slip in the memories. Oh, actually, from memory, I think this was my last take. This might be better. Day slip in two months. Years slip in the memories. Oh, let go of tomorrow's. Heartbeats are for here and now. Oh, and let go of tomorrow's. Rose. Heartbeats are for here and now. These are the moments. Now, these are the moments. Worth moments, worth holding on to. I am loving life. I All right, sir. Loving life. I 
and I'm loving life. I am loving life. Loving life. I am loving life. Living in the here and the now. See if I got a better here and now. Am I loving life? Living in the here and the now. I am loving life. Living in the here and the now. Winning just because I'm alive. I am loving life. And I am loving life. And I am loving life. Living in the here and the now. Winning just because I'm alive. Leaving. Uh, all right, here's, here's coming up to the part where I don't know what I'm doing. So I was making up as we go. So we're going to see if we nail anything. I'm alive. Leaving. I'm alive. I'm alive. Leaving in the here and the now. Winning just. All right, that might work. Let's see if I did it with the harmony. Life. Living in the here and the now. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. Now. 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 Living just because I'm alive. I'm loving life. I like those lyrics. Um. I like that lyrics like it's okay to kind of uh pat yourself on the back every now and then say because you know if you're really in the flow it kind of without getting all spiritual or anything or uh you know it's like it's it just float it just flowed and you kind of like just put out and i like that living here uh living here living here in the in the net whatever it was i don't even know what it is and then let's see. living just because I'm oh uh winning winning just because i'm alive that is that is no matter what you're going through, like, hey, man, I, I'm hearing that, you know, so it's like, uh, you know, winning just because you're alive. Absolutely, guys, that's that's gold, you know, uh, I don't know where that came from, but it's, I'll take it, so I love it, you know, that's the beauty of songwriting, you know, so. Alive, I'm loving life. I'm loving life. It's great, simple lyrics, just, uh, you know, and uh, this song is kind of like, it's, it's kind of a sentimental kind of, um, uh, you know, the idea of the theme is loving life. And sometimes they get, they don't always, briefs don't always come in with this, um, uh, I'm loving life. Oh, it's just amazing. You know, and everything's at, at 120%, you know, uh, briefs will come in and they want to, uh, you know, uh, 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 kind of like an authentic or, you know, intimate loving life. And it's, it's, just do your thing you know do the themes that they're asking for but then do it your way and um so yeah i'm doing life mm, i'm loving life <laughs> no <laughs> not loving that tune all right last one mm, i'm loving life all right cool um done so let's go back this is what i do um we're in tune now so i mean no, we're, we're uh comp so now i just go ahead before i put into melodyne i use melodyne for all my tuning it's just the most um uh most um natural uh so then we just want i just want to clean everything that's what i'm doing here just making sure everything's clean no pops are clean world. as i go nothing's gonna shake me it's more than just a dream these are the moments where all right so we're because there. i'm alive just because i'm alive i'm loving life all right now so what i did i'm just cleaning these little bumps and everything that's going to save me cleaning later i just do it i like to do it before i import into melodyne so Melodyne doesn't pick up any weird things. Um, uh, there's a little shortcut, which is great too, is tab to transients. I think it's one of these guys up here. Um, so you just tab to every, uh, sorry, to every cut that there is. That's a great, it's a great little shortcut to keep your hands off, keep
keep your mouse from moving around or anything. Uh, here. Here and the now, leaving. I'm going to keep that breath in there because there's lots of energy going to that part. Here and the now, leaving just because I'm alive, I'm loving life. All right, cool. We got it. So um, I'm just going to consolidate that. Then we're bringing it into Melodyne. All right, you guys ready for a masterclass on Melodyne? Um, I am. All right, here we go. Uh, where is my Melodyne? There we go. All right, so Melodyne, as I said, it's the most natural um, uh, I, that I've found. I don't have Auto-Tune, but I have um, uh, Waves Tune, and I've used a few others, but I've had Melodyne for a long time now. It just seems really, really natural. So first thing with Melodyne, what you got to do, and I'm just going to put this off screen, you've got to just kind of like record it in there. So I'm just going to push record and we play so i make sure that i don't like to have anything on that channel when i do that so we're just going to import it i feel like i'm lifted there you go like i'm on top of the world oh nothing's gonna shake me it's more than just a dream these are the moments worth holding on to I am loving life I am loving life Living in the here and the now Winning just because I'm alive I'm loving life I'm loving life Days slip into months Years slip into memories Oh, and let go of tomorrow's Heartbeats are for here and now Are the moments Worth holding on to Loving life, I am loving life, living in the here and the now, winning just because I'm alive. I am loving life, I am loving life, living in the here and the now, winning. Just because I'm alive Living in the here and the now Living just because I'm alive I'm loving life mm, I'm loving life All right, cool. Yeah, it's very nice and soft. Uh, it's, everything's kind of coming in. Um, let's go and um, there was a... I didn't grab an S here or something. You see that S? Uh, so we're going to just, we'll come back and do that uh, later. So uh, I might be able to grab one of the other ones from, so, okay, so Melodyne, here we go. So um, what I like to do is the first thing, uh, what key? Da -na 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 -na. D. So we're in the key of D. Um, so I like to just, and this works well with my vocals. Just highlight everything, double click, and it goes to. I, I made sure I snapped in, um, I snapped to the grid, so snail, so scale snap. So then everything's turned up, and then there's if you have a look at this, um, these lines here, that's the actual note that goes up. And I see I'm a little sharp up there, and then this one. So here's a bunch of little tricks, and I'm going to kind of go through it pretty fast, but um, I just double click on it, and that's going to go down to it's because it's a scale snap, that's going to go down to E. So um, then that brings that note, that whole note down just a little bit. And we'll come back and we, I like to do two passes on it of Melodyne. And um, so then I just chop this a little bit and 
and make sure it just makes everything a little smooth. Let's have a listen to what it sounds like. And I'd like to add my processing so that we can hear what it would kind of sound as a record. I feel like I'm lifted. So I can tell that's really out there. Uh, I'm going to probably bring it down. Like I'm I feel like I'm lifted. Like I'm. Like I'm on top of the world. Oh. Top of the world. Oh. Nothing's going to shake. Nothing's gonna shake me. It's more than just a. So I like to cut the cut the tails off these, and I'm using a bunch of shortcuts here with Meldon. But I like to cut the tails off because then it brings down the note more naturally, um, and it doesn't do weird. Things. It's more than just a dream. It's more than just a... did something weird there. It's more than just. A... It's more than just a dream. So something's weird on that one, but we might, uh, I'll show you what I do with it. It's more that. than just a dream. Now, sometimes instead of going down to that E, I want it to go into that D, D sharp just because uh, I think that it needed to, needed to go there a bit more. It, it needed to be a lot because it's more of a, it's like a part in between. More than just a dream. These are the moments worth holding on to. I am alive. I am alive and alive. Two notes there, but it's only picked up one. So. I am alive and alive. I am a loving life. I, I am a loving life. I am a loving life. Living in the here and the now. Winning just because I'm alive. I'm a loving life. I'm a loving life. Missed the note. Because I'm alive. I'm a loving life. Because I'm alive, I'm loving life. I'm alive, I'm loving life. 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 Day sleep. Day slip into day slip in day slip in two months slip in two months slip in two months yes slip in the memories oh and let go of tomorrow's heartbeats are for here and now uh, ah, that's where I forgot the these. So I'll have to come back to it. Are the moments worth holding on to? On to. I am loving life. I. And sometimes that's distracting to put the harmony, so I'm just going to mute them over here. I I'm loving life. Two notes. Loving life. I am loving life. I am loving life. Living in the here and the now. 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 Winning just because I'm alive. Alive. Because I'm alive. I'm winning just because I'm alive. Alive. I am loving life. 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 I am loving life.
loving life. Two notes. It's not picking up those two notes. Loving life. I... <laughs> Maybe it's singing. Singer error. <laughs> no, no, it couldn't be that. I am loving life. I am loving. I am loving life. I am loving life. Right, we'll come back to that. I might have another loving life in there. I the problem is when you're when you're tuning up your vocals, um, sometimes you can get uh, kind of carried away or focused on on one thing, and then it gets worse and worse and worse. So I'd like to keep moving, and then we have a listen to the song as a whole because that's what um, that's what people are going to be listening to. They're going to be listening to it as a whole. I am loving life. I am loving life. Living in the here and now. Winning now. Winning just because I'm alive. Living Whoa. life. Living in the life. Living in the life. Living in the here, living in the here and the now, living now, living just because I'm alive, I'm loving life. Because I'm alive, I'm loving life. All right, cool. Uh, we go back again. I do. A, I like to do a second pass on it again now. Um, uh, let's do a second pass. So um, this just fine tunes it again. Um. I feel like I'm lifted, like I'm on top of the water. How you guys doing? <laughs> Anybody uh done? Anybody's like, oh, I'm done with this song. I'm not living life. <laughs> Okay, awesome. Okay, cool. Good. All right. You're all in. Awesome. Okay, good. Awesome. Okay, cool. So, of course, um, hit up any questions you got. I, I'm moving kind of fast with any of this, but, uh, you know, we're getting there. We're, we're probably only, I know we said probably two to three hours, and we're going at, we're nearly up to two, at, two hours. Yeah, nearly uh, an hour and a half, I guess. So I'm probably thinking once we get to the mixing stage, um, it could be, uh, you know, another hour, another hour and a half. So it might be another, maybe another hour and a half, but we're going to get this song done. And if you guys got to go, you got to go, uh, you'll have it on the replay. So uh, here we go. Let's keep moving. I want to try and keep moving through the whole process. Lifted like I'm on top of the world. Oh, nothing. Oh, no. Oh. By the world, oh, nothing's. Oh, nothing's. I want it to sound more natural, so I don't want to go too square with my tuning, uh, because it's it's more of a more of a singer songwriter song. So you just got to be careful that you don't go too square. You don't want it to go. Like, the world, oh, on top of the world, oh. So that would be too too square. So um, you want to keep it more natural, which. You know, you're gonna get a little, a uh, little bit of movement in the. By the world, oh, another world, oh, nothing. I don't want to get hung up on this. Oh, nothing's gonna shake me. It's more than just a dream. These are. Yeah, great question, um, James. Uh, a little bit. I think it has a little bit because I sing a little bit softer and I don't do as many scoops. You know, I kind of changed, I think, instead of going like ah, on top of the word, because I know how how much of a pain that is going to be getting tuned and stuff. It shapes it a little bit, I think. Um, but at the end of the day, you've got to do your thing. You know, you're you you don't want it to shape it, but being a producer myself, it I I I probably would have to say that it it, it probably has adapted how I've how I've sang and, and that's why maybe maybe that's because uh, i've been doing recording and tuning up my vocals for since 2000 i think yeah 2000 i did my first album of my own so so over 20 years i've been tuning my own voice and so 
So I know that my voice feels like it's gotten smoother. So meaning that, um, you know, I, I, I stick to just the notes I can do and, you know, I don't, I don't go crazy and just go wild, you know, it's very kind of, you know, so I think I, a good question. I think I'd have to say yes. Um, these are the, these are the yeah, thanks, James. And, and one thing I would say um, for anyone who wants to be a vocalist, um, the power of practicing, like, you know, you've heard it a million times, but every single morning, um, you know, probably three to four mornings a month that I don't do this, but every single morning, uh, I, I do 20 minutes of practicing my vocals. I sing, I do my scales, I uh, practice new runs, new lines and stuff. And I practice that stuff because it's such an important element so that when I get in the studio, boom, you know, you, you go for it. And so, um, you know, I'm not thinking too much of all that, all that kind of stuff. I'm not thinking, oh, am I singing pitch or how do I get that note? And my voice just flows a lot freely. Uh, so it's, that's, that's a little bit of a, you know, everyone knows you need practice, but doing that every day and I'll do that probably for the rest of my life you know as I said like seriously every day 20 20 25 minutes is what I set my timer for and um and I probably about three or four days a month that I don't do it you know I sleep in or I just be like eh, you know uh, but most of the time I do it these are the moments uh I guess so yeah I gotta get back into that habit um uh it's hard, but uh, the habit, once you form that habit, you, you it, it gets easier, you know. Um, had this program for years, it was the first time I've actually seen that same show. Jeez, years, it was practice show. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, Melodyne is really, really cool. Um, I actually have a course, it's like 39 bucks over at my website, um, and you can go ahead and check that out. There's like, I go through eight hours of all the shortcuts and everything with Melodyne. It's pretty pretty, pretty cool, because Melodyne is another instrument. It's a tool, it's an instrument. If you're tuning up your own vocal, <laughs> who wants all the help they can get i do so um are the moments worth holding on to i am loving life i am loving life living in the all right there's a drift tool here living in the here and the now so this drops down i'm just gonna oops in the here and living in the here and the now all right so that didn't quite work as well so there's this other tool here you can kind of uh make it a little bit in the here and the now but then sometimes i can cut you can cut the parts that you want to tune up and make sure that in the here and the in and the here and the now not gonna worry about it too much because i have here and now three other takes in the song so we'll come back to that if it bugs in the here and the now winning just because i'm alive i'm loving life i'm loving life I'm loving life. Day slip into. And so here's another little cool trick you can do. Uh, you hold down a shift, I think it is. And you can, no, no, it's alt. And you can kind of drag it outside of the scale. So I can see that this note here, that's the middle of the note. That's the one, and it's a little sharp. But I don't want to, I, I just gonna, that's why I think we're gonna pull it down just for that. Day slipping. And this note is. Day slipping, two months. Yes, slipping the memories, oh. And let go of tomorrow's heartbeats of for here and now. Are the moments worth? Holding on to I am loving life I am loving life I am loving life I am loving life Living in the here and the now Winning just because Winning just because I'm alive. I am 
loving life. I am loving life, living in the here and now. Winning just because I'm alive. Living in the here and the now. Living just because I'm alive. I'm loving life. Mm, I'm loving life. You're singing along. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a, a good message. Good to be mess. Good message to be singing. That's for sure. Um, love and life. Yep, that's for sure. Um, as a uh, Drew would probably say, he's loving life when he's getting barreled in Hawaii. Woo! <laughs> that's a surfing term for all my surfers out there. Um, I think Chuck surfs too. Do you, don't you surf, or are you? I think I know you're in California, Chuck. Do you surf? Nope. <laughs> One answer. Nope. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, body set, that's good. So, um, all right, cool. Moving along. Okay, we're gonna. Um, you get a few times. Yeah, yep. Yeah, the waves aren't good in Galveston unless there's that hurricane. Um, hurricane come through. I um, when I was living in Florida, I used to watch the the Gulf because sometimes when the hurricanes come up, then it's like, oh yeah, it's the Gulf can really get some waves. But that you're you're talking to a wave hunter here. I'm I'm itching to get a wave. So. All right, here we go. So I'm um, moving along. I want to keep moving. Here we go. So um, hide those. We've got we've got our vocal tag. Uh, now here's a little shortcut that I do with my um, uh, with my harmonies. So I I kind of I tried to make sure I nailed them. Now two things when you go with um, um, uh, with with harmonies, you've got to nail them. You've got to tip. You've got to get the right length. So if you have a listen here, these are at the right length dream these are the moments so i can get rid of those s's uh we don't need s's um we don't need moments so um so we can get rid of those we can get rid of the breaths uh but most of these are pretty good see they're they're going to be really close i made sure that i nailed them try to nail it better than if you don't get anything out of it uh and if you don't get anything out of this class but the one fact that nail the take get it right without pushing record if you can get it right first you don't have to do much and it always won't it'll sound whenever you're trying to tweak things it just sounds synthetic it doesn't quite sound like here this one i didn't nail so i will say that that one that one kind of cut short there holding on to one kind of cut out a little bit but um as best as you can try to nail that take so uh okay so real quick making sure these right we're gonna have to tune these real quick but they're super easy to quick super quick and easy to tune live i'm loving all right so i'm just going to clean clean these up a tad and then All right, so let's get them into, let's save this session, hey? Saving is always a good idea. So let's get these into Melodyne. You could do a quick shortcut on uh, these. Uh, no, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do the full deal. Let's do another one. Very cool, man, yeah. Ha, <laughs> thanks Aussie legend, awesome. Have a good gig, have a good show, Andrew. All right, so here we go. Two, three, four, and five. It's more than just a dream. These are the moments worth holding on to. I am loving life. I am loving life, living in the here and the now, winning just because I'm alive, I'm loving life.
All right, two and three. We'll do those real quick. Two and three. Go out tomorrow's heartbeats are for here and now. Are the moments worth holding on to? I am loving life. I am loving life. Living. All right, next two, we're nearly there. Up two and three. I am loving life, living in the here and now, winning just because I'm alive, living in the here and the now. Leaving just because I'm alive, I'm loving life. All right, cool. So what I do um, with my uh, harmonies, uh, I think I go pretty. I'm I'm pretty aggressive with them. So meaning that um, uh, you can go pretty square with these. So I'm just going to make sure these are we can hear them right. I like to do them in a separate uh, one one at a time. So let's. Hear it's more than just a dream these oh, too loud so we're going to make sure we're snapping to the scale and then we just double click everything make sure it's all in tune some of these notes just don't grab so uh, let's turn them down a little bit we went too loud just a dream these are the moments all right cool so now this is another little cool thing you can go over here and you can select that's the other take so there's two takes they should be exactly the same and obviously they're uh, they're not they're close but um if you double click now they are uh, now they're in tune so this is mostly except for that one of them one of the notes didn't grab so you can just visually see it then you have a listen as you go there's another one there let's go back uh just a dream these a dream these are the moments worth holding on to i am loving life i am loving life living in the here and the now winning just because i'm alive i'm loving life all right cool that was the first one so let's do the other one now the other oh, no, nothing's gonna sh more than just a dream these are the moments worth holding on to i am loving life Loving life, living in the here and the now, winning just because I'm alive, I'm loving life. Great. So while, no, I like to uh, just do one one track at a time. So the next track, next, I mean, we're going to keep on. What morrows, heartbeats. Something up there. Which one is right? That's the question. Let's try. Heartbeat, heartbeats, heartbeats, heartbeat. I think it's just one note. Heartbeats are for here and heartbeats are for here and now. These are the <laughs> I keep forgetting that. These are the moments worth holding on to. Oops. Hmm, I don't know what. Let's just go back here. 
I had to think my computer was thinking for a second. And I'm too and mix it love and life living life living love and life living in the here and living in the here and now winning winning now winning Winning just because Winning just because I'm alive Alright, something happened here What are we gonna do here? Because I'm alive Because I'm alive Because I'm alive Living in the here and the now in the here and the now, the here and the now, leaving just because I'm alive. You gotta know leaving. shortcuts for all this. My right, left hand is tapping, tapping away. <laughs> I'm leaving just because I'm alive, I'm loving life. I'm alive, I'm loving life. All right, cool. Um, I think that's good. Let's keep moving along. Let's do these other ones here. Um, I am loving life, living in the... All right, we need to know that. Living in the... Okay, so this one's doing something weird here. So I just cut it and then affect the rest of the note. Living in life, living in the here and the now. Does anybody feel like a hot dog? Looks like hot dogs here. <laughs> vocals are done um we can come back to them of course but uh i am actually going to bounce them all down so we're going to commit all them save it <laughs> thanks jack um you know exactly what it's like tuning up vocals oh and as i was talking guess what i just did i just deleted all of the um the melodon that i just did but i am in a habit of saving it just before um, I do that, because I've done that a couple of times now. So don't save, just close. Open. Open session. 
where is it? Um, don't save because we saved it just before we did that. Here we go, drum rolls. All right, so that's why I've done that. It's probably the third time it's happened. So if you accidentally delete it all, you just deleted all of your um, Melodyne. So uh, just make sure you do this carefully. So you can go back, it saves every five. It does save every five minutes. You can go back and double check where it is, but that could have been five minutes. And I don't know about you, but I'm done with the vocals. <laughs> I'm always like that. Oh. All right, so um, all right. So now we're just gonna bounce those down. So we're gonna put these as zero and we're just going to commit. Selected tracks, hide. So we're committing all the, um, uh, the uh, we're committing all the melodon we just did. So, um, not gonna lie, I got stressed for a second. I'm sorry, Nicole. That's funny. It's um, yeah, I was stressing for a second. I'm like, don't resave it as I'm closing it. Don't save over the other copy. But um, <laughs> we are there. So that's why it's good to save. Good to always save. We got so we're done. Okay. Good, so let's keep moving on. Um, save again now that I've done that. So um, I don't know why this piano didn't come back in. Um, there we go. Okay, cool, so we are moving on now. So first thing I wanna do is, I am actually going to do a, a slight mix. Um, I'm gonna get things going and then we're gonna see what we need. So one of my shortcuts here is, um, uh, I have it. I have presets for all my all my channels. So, um, so we're in mixing now. We're in mi mixing, and we we'll, might go back to a little bit of editing and a couple of production, a couple of ideas, production wise, if we need it. And what do we need? Uh, here we go. So, um, where is my? There it is. Full mix. So I hit that, and then we're going to get all these channels pop up down here with all my stuff on, and I'll walk through some of that stuff. Um, as we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to route stuff. So acoustic guitars are going to route to the acoustic guitars. And I've kind of like already got this set up. So I'm going to move everything to the, uh, and color everything and make sure everything um, is on the right spot. Now half of, um, uh, half of mixing really is setting up, setting things up right. It really is. It, and you don't have to do that much. There's a bunch of stuff that you can do without kind of without um you can't mix without your ears obviously but there's a lot of stuff you can do you'll see all this stuff that i've set up and then when i push play you guys are going to be like whoa you didn't have to do anything but i just set all these things in motion because a bunch of presets and stuff like that so um okay so we got piano it's going to go to my piano bus that was my piano bus down here and down here is just to show you on my piano bus uh, is um, I have an EQ, just rapid, uh, taking off some lows and I'll adjust it as I go. Um, and we have my, one of my favorite compressors, uh, the Waves um, G Master Bus, uh, the SSL uh, compressor. I love SSL stuff. So um, that's it. And it's very light. You'll see it's very light. Everything I do is, is light. Um, you know, I want many, I like the theory of many hands or many compressors do light work, not one doing everything especially in a song like this, we need it to sound organic and, and natural. So we're just gonna copy those EQs. We don't need any low stuff. I already know that's low taken off. As we play it, we'll see how much low we're taking off. Um, and then we've got harmonies over here. So we're gonna put them, we're gonna color them. Uh, let's go blue. Color them and we are going to the BVs, which is, I'll show you what they have there in a minute. Uh, we've got an LV and there's a couple of parts. I don't have to fix up on that, but we'll come back to that. We have the bass piano. I'm just going to put bass P. So that's going to go to my bass channel. Uh, we have got some, uh, and what's this up here? Oh, there's a shaker. So shaker goes to the drums. All right, cool. So we have pretty much, um, uh, so you're using a template, yes. Um, sort of, yes, I have, a, I have a template set up for my uh, mixing. So what I did is, all of these buses, which I'm going to go through, all these green ones here, 
um, verb delay, uh, drums, uh, bass, strings, piano, all these kind of, all those have, pre, uh, have plugins on them that are all my go-tos. Uh, and I just, by hitting one channel, I opened up all this with all the channel stuff. It probably saves 10 minutes each mix. So that you have gotta figure out how to do like one button or one, uh, add a channel or add your subs and then all of a sudden you get your subs. So whatever you need to streamline in your in your DAW because all of a sudden, where do you go? Look, I'll push play, ready? Um, here we go. Like I'm on top of the world. Oh. Already it sounds like it, it sounds like 20% better than what it was without the, the buses. And it's just because it's running a few, a couple of my um, go-to plugins. Okay, so let's work back from the master. This is a compressor that I'm gonna sorry, the limiter that I use. It's the uh, ultra maximizer. I love this guy. Um, you can do and, and don't feel like you have to run out and get all these plugins. Um, the ultra maximizer, you can do a lot with uh, your limiters, but Use a limiter. The last, very last thing on your master bus, use a limiter. Uh, you got it. And I and I turn that up as loud as I can. You don't want to go to zero. Uh, the the next one down is is 0.1. So that's what I use. Um, uh, awesome, stress free. Yeah, that's what you want. So um, okay, so that's my that's my go to for um, uh, the uh, the limiter. Then we got a mix. What I do is I send everything to a mix, and then I do a little tiny bit of comp uh, compressor then I send everything to the master and then that's then that has the limiter on it so um so let's go back so I love this one this is really really cool uh Chris Lord Algie's um mix bus I think it's called what is it mix down I like that so I'm a big fan of Chris Lord Algie he's 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 really good so and I put EQs on everything because there's I always like to take a little bit of stuff out if it's too much before it goes to a compressor because I don't want the compressor working too hard on on let's say you've got a bump in 500 at 500 it's compressing 500 but then the other frequencies it's not even a touching it so i like to adjust it first and then let it work so um uh my lv guess what it's the uh the ssl bus compressor again eq uh now in my background vocals i love this one uh it's the maserati um uh background vocals is i love the setting setting on this it's just i'd hardly even touch it and it just sounds great i love it um, and I don't even think I have, I don't even think I have, I just factory reset, just click on, click on the button. <laughs> I love it. It sounds great. And then you just move it around and uh, you can play with it as you go. So acoustic, uh, SSL, um, and, and I take, make sure I, I, to, to clean up your mix, make sure you take out the low of anything you don't, that doesn't, doesn't belong there. Um, the acoustic, I don't want, the only thing I want is that bass piano going through there. Uh, maybe a little bit of the acoustics, but if there was kick drum, I'd want the kick, kick drum in there. Uh, strings, I don't have any strings, but I do have, I do want to put some ambient stuff in a minute. Same, just a bus compressor on everything. Um, strings, bass, uh, same, nothing special there. Um, the drums here, we don't have any drums. Uh, in bigger mixes, I squash, I squash down the drums uh, on a parallel compressor, uh, which we won't even go into. I'm not even going to use it because there's, there's, I'm not using that at all. So this mix is a softer mix and not, we don't need that. All right, cool. So, and then I have my uh, reverb, which has a Valhalla on it. Um, this is just a standard setting I like. I like the now color on this one. Um, and then sometimes I have a delay. And so what I do is I send these, send these out to, um, I'm gonna send some reverb to all these guys, or I should say, I'm gonna send these guys to the reverb. So we just turn that up a bit. Oops, how do I do that? And what that does is I'm sending a little bit of that verb to, to the verb here to the uh, it's going to go through there so you can see it coming up just a little bit and that shimmer is coming through The acoustic guitars, my go-to at the moment is the uh, the Waves uh, uh, 1176. If you got it, um, I don't know, it just punches through. I've been I've absolutely loving it. I was using the um, 
we are compressive for a while and um, and that's great too. It's a lot more silky or a lot more smooth. But this one seems, I don't know, you just get bored after a while and you change, change some of your stuff. I love in this one. Feel like I'm lifted. And when I compress, I try not to go uh, below minus three. I don't want to do too much work. I don't want it to be whacking. I just want to do light bit of work because I'm sending it also to the bus where I'm going to do a bit of light compression compression on it as well. So. Like I'm lifted. Like I'm on top of the world. Oh, but nothing's going to shake. All right, so copy it both. Nothing's going to shake me. It's more than just a dream. These are the moments. All right, cool. Guess what we're going to put on this for uh, time saving? Nobody's going to guess. You'll never, ever guess this. We're going to be throwing this on it. Everyone's like, oh, Chris Lord Algae vocals. How did you guess? As I say, I'm going to take that off. These are the moments worth holding on to. All right, so we're just going to, uh, I'm just copying this reverb over. We're putting reverb on everything. We're sending it all to the bus, but then we're going to adjust how much level they get. So in the lead vocal, I want to pull that down. Too much. But what am I doing here? There we go. Just copying it down. That's all I'm doing. And love it life, and love it life, living in the here and the now, winning just because I'm alive, I'm loving life. All right, so how good does that already sound? And I didn't do much. Are the worth holding on to. I didn't do anything. I just set it all up and just put everything through stuff that, you know, it's a template. So uh, let's break it down. And um, uh, actually, I was going to fix up some of those vocals. Um, I got some high harmonies here. Too high and love it life. Too What I want to do is copy these, put these ones down here. I wanted to double these. Oh, and so I wanted to, the reason I um, didn't do two takes of these because, oops. Because I'm just going to copy them. Living in the here and the now, winning just because I'm alive. Because I am loving life. Living in the here and the now. I have to look. What what did I do? Let's make sure I copy the right one. Put it in the right spot. Just copy, whoops. Now we're just going to copy that again. See, if you set everything up right, um, see how quick thing you can do the actual kind of the mixing side of things. Uh, you just, you're just setting it, it's just set up right, you know. Um, Living in the here and the now, winning. 
right, so I'm doubling these because I just I just added those extra ones because uh, I did something different at the very end of the song. So I want to make sure they're on their own track because I am going to be doubling this underneath. And love and life, living in the here and the now, winning just because I'm alive, living. There we go. See, it's getting real full now. Uh, now let's clean up some of this stuff I just arranged and edited. It's, uh, as you see, the song's building as it's going. Uh, the first harmony doesn't do as much and it keeps building and it's way too loud at the moment. We're gonna turn the master bus down. In the here and now. So the other thing is I gotta fix up some of these main vocals. Here and now. These, are these are the moments. Where is another these? Uh, let's do one. Uh, just a dream there's too much reverb i'm going to pull the main master down a dream. These are... see if this works if i just copy this these here and now these are now these yep. and now hear that pretty clear or um i had my speakers on the whole time so there might have been a bit of bleed um i don't know if there's if you're getting more of a phasing thing or okay it sounds good all right cool because i wonder i was just realized that you're hearing it through the computer but then i think you're also hearing it through the speakers through the microphone that you can hear my voice on um uh, all right, so here we are. We're, we are getting closer, guys. We're getting closer. What are we at? 316. So, um, oh, I do want to add some more. Um, uh, uh, let's just add some bells and whistles. I think the vocals are pretty much done, but we're just listening out for anything that jumps to us, jumps out to us. Uh, the bass stuff. I want to keep it organic. So I'm thinking organic. Um, uh, we can maybe do a click like that in the, uh, yes, let's do a sample like that. So we are going to go over to Splice. Who has, an, who has a Splice account? It's awesome. If you don't, um, definitely recommend getting it. There's just so many samples. Uh, get the lowest um, lowest subscription. I think it's five or 5.99 or 6.99. Get the lowest one because you do end up collecting a lot of, um, uh, a lot of, um, <laughs> what have you got? Like, I've got, I don't know how many I got here. We'll see in a second. So, uh, oh, sounds. Look at this. I got 2,800. I, I don't know how I'm going to get on them. I just have to buy packs. I like this guy. This guy's good. I've got a lot of his stuff. Uh, all right. So, let's do, we want a finger snap. So, let's type up snap. And um, let's just go through. I like to keep it on recent because then you got the latest stuff. We're listening to something. We want something that's thin, but it's um, and uh, thin and um, a nice tail on it. That's what I'm looking for. It's kind of cool. A little bit electronic though.
Oh, that's not. I think we're going to layer it with something organic, though. That's cool. So sometimes I'll grab a few of these. All right, let's grab that one too. All right, that's enough of those. All right, so they pop up here in your little app. I don't know what you call it, but they pop up here. And in Pro Tools, you can just drag them in here. Um, so they come up down there. Did I drag it in twice? Oh, that last one should be, that's weird. That last one came in, came in as not in as a stereo. That's weird. So let's create a stereo track. I just want to pop these on a stereo track. All right, so let's just move color them and move them. And we need to put them out to the bus, to the drum bus. Uh, move them up here to the drums and we'll just slide them right over. We only want them in the choruses. Not much. I don't want them that loud. I just want them to be something that are on the probably on the four, maybe the two and the four. We'll have a look. So, so this is a cool thing that I like to do is uh, I like to just loop the section and make sure I. Two, so it might be too much. To Maybe I'll double it later on, um, but let's just do every every four. First chorus. Some shaking just because I'm alive, I'm loving life. I'm loving life. Um, we'll move those. Let's just put on the grid. So it's just a tiny little click. Um, uh, let's have a little bit of fun. Um, I'm just getting into little extras now. Um, let's snap it. I'll have to look that look up that one. I don't know where that one is, but um, it's a cool little plugin. Um, thanks for the yeah. Thanks for letting us know that. Um, 
I'm going to do so now you can start. We pretty much have a song here and it's nearly ready for uh, mixing. Uh, I mean, like the 10% the mixing down, like getting it completed. What I like to do is, um, uh, and just to keep everyone know, we're probably wrapping up here in about 15, 20 minutes, I think. So we're really getting really close. Um, at this point, you can probably, um, you can just go to town with a little extra bells and whistles. And I'm gonna show you just a couple little things uh, that you could do, but you don't wanna do too much with a singer songwriter song because it, um, it's too, uh, it's, you want it organic. You want it more like someone sitting in the room. So um, yeah, um, yeah, J uh, James, go ahead. As I reverse this note, um, what I wanna do here is, we're just doubling that track. And I'm going to oops, reverse that. I'm going to go, you'll see this cool little trick. So. I'm too high in the love of life. I don't know if you heard, it's very subtle, but it was like a, um, uh, it's a great little it's ear candy, you know, so it's just this gives it like those little just little bits of uh, ear candy, ear candy. So um, here we go. I don't want everyone. Yeah. I'm too high in the love of life, high in the love of life, living. So what about that little reverse piano thing there? That can go right there. I'm loving life. Just a dream. These are the winning just because I'm alive. I'm loving life. I'm loving life. Okay, so yeah, Chuck, um, it's set it's set up in in um, um, in Pro Tools. I don't know. It's it's you go into the settings, I guess, at the beginning. I did it ages ago, but it saved. It actually saves every five minutes. So if I ever get a crash or anything, I look at the clock, and if it's like, if uh, I know that I could have lost at the worst, I've lost the last five minutes. You know, so um, so it has an auto save save feature. I don't know. Um, uh, it's it's kind of like if are you in pro uh, sorry are you in Pro Tools Chuck I can't remember um, yeah I would Google it and find out how you make sure that's set up um, yeah it's a lifesaver you know worst case scenario I've had it happen lots of times where it's just like oh I lost five minutes well yeah you're annoyed but you could have lost <laughs> you could have lost half an hour or something so it's really good and yeah James um, let me scroll up here. Uh, good question, James. What version OS are you running your Pro Tools on? Um, gosh, let's have a look. Uh, Catalina, I think. Um, so here we are. I got uh, Catalina uh, version 10.15.7. Um, memory about 64 gig, uh, which is really helpful. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the stuff. I've got a bunch of storage that I am. Um, I always run all my sessions on an external hard drive that I have that backed up, and then I keep my op my main hard drive my operating system just to run all the all the other stuff, you know, just the regular stuff. So um, Mojave, yeah, um, always check it in. It's horrible up, up the updating and upgrading and all that kind of stuff. Check into that, uh, James, because um, yeah, sometimes it's um, when you're update, updating stuff works and then stuff doesn't work and it's just like, 
it's just just be just prepare yourself for um for pulling your hair out it's, it's really it's really tricky i once i have it set up and everything's working i don't want to upgrade at all i just want it to work don't i don't care about the latest stuff i'll get a mac i'll get a laptop or something for all that just just work let me work so um all right cool great questions here um yeah pro tools 11 has bugs oh i'm on the subscription thing now they had to change to the subscription and, I, and that's kind of a cool thing is it means it updates all the time, but uh, just be careful if your operating system's going to the very, very latest, because it mightn't be ready for it. Um, Vicky says, yeah, if you plug into a battery, a backup, you could keep those five minutes. Uh, if you plug it into a battery, yeah, that, I don't know much too much about that, but that's a, yeah, you could you could probably, that's there's probably like many different systems. That's good. Um, uh, Yeah, that's good. Yeah, doing the external hard drives really helps. Um, yeah, backups are so uh, so important. And just it, I'll just give you a quick little. Um, this is my system. You got to find your system for yourself. Uh, you know, on on this main computer, uh, it's a Mac Mini. Um, I have uh, a terabyte of operating system hard drive. That's just for operating system. Whenever I buy a library or a sample pack or anything like that. I put the samples on another hard drive called samples. And then uh, all my samples and all my native instruments, everything goes there, Omnisphere goes there, all, this, all of the samples go to that hard drive. And then I have another hard drive for external hard drive for um, my sessions. So those are my two main hard, external hard drives that I use. And now I back those up to something called Backblaze. And so those are backed up all the time to Backblaze. So if I lose anything, I have got, I have them there. And then, um, and then I use another, a third backup just for my operating system. So I actually have three external, um, yeah, I have three external hard drives. So one is a backup just for my um, operating system. So if the computer died, I could just take that hard drive and get another computer, plug it in, and I've got my hard drive going. And the other two are my working hard drives, and those are backed up to uh, backblaze. So hopefully that makes sense. But that's kind of like, uh, no, they're not also, no, they're not actually the only solid state is the, um, uh, the operating system. Um, the others are just uh, uh, USB. Uh, my, actually, my session that I'm running is Firewire. That was a little bit more expensive. The sessions that I'm running, uh, the other two are um, for my sessions and for my sample, sorry, and my backup are just USB 3. So they're just like mini um, uh, two terabytes or four terabytes kind of thing. And then uh, actually now my session drive is, sorry, it's the it's the bigger um, uh, G technology. So, but anyway, so those, that's the, the main idea. Um, do you have links to your recording templates that can be pulled into Studio One? Um, I just did a video um, on creating your templates uh, and, but, and you can go through that um, that one, Eric. Uh, let me know if you can't find that video. I think I it's, it's on my YouTube channel. Um, look up that video, uh, creating templates in Studio One. And if you create your templates with your plugins, that would be the best because uh, you know just just find the ones that you work, and then you get to know them, and then uh, that would probably be the best because uh, I could send you and let me know if if you really really if you want my template as well. Let me. Um, just DM me and I'll see if I can kind of um, figure out how to send send a preset template thing. I, I don't know how that would work, but I could probably send you the session the session and then you save it as a template. So, but yeah, just let me know. Um, yeah. So, all right, cool. So that was a good little break. Let's get back to it. We are nearly done here. So this just because I'm alive, I'm loving life. I'm loving life. Yeah, I can do. It. I can do that, Vicky. I'll send you the the mix uh, the mix when we're done. Beats I'll, it, I'll send it to everyone, so or I'll, I'll send you a link for it. Beats up for here and now. These are the moments worth holding on to. So these little reverse ones, I do like them in there, but. Maybe not that loud. So let's just automate the um, uh, the volume down on these guys a bit. I'm alive, I'm loving life. I'm 
loving life Days slip into months Years slip into memories Oh, and let go of tomorrow's Heartbeats of for here and now These are the moments Worth holding on to Yeah, I got some notes here in the guitar that I put down. I'm loving life. I'm loving life. I'm loving life. All right, so uh, I have these big strummed guitars that I like, uh, but they're too loud. I, I'm something that I just like to do. I just like to. Uh, um create create separate tracks for them um uh let me just duplicate these guys so i just do sometimes i just duplicate the, the the tracks too it's just an easier way of creating new tracks um this makes a lot 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 quicker because everything's already set up the reverb send the eq everything's already sent so I want to here and awesome. now these are the These are the moments worth holding on to. Have you saw I copied those acoustic guitar um, uh, compressor uh, settings, but it was too too much. It was going up to minus 10. So that's why I'm backing it off a little bit. Look how loud they are. They're going to trigger the compressor a lot, lot more. So um, and now these are the little thing is I need a little bit of ambience. I want a little bit of a um, uh, little bit of ambience here. So I'm actually going to grab one of these notes. Um, I think it was da -da 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 -da. I think it's this last note here. Um, and I am just going to put a forever delay on it. Oops. No, da -da -da -da. I'm trying to find the last note. Da That one, that'll work. Dun, dun. That. that's the shimmer if you can hear that such a great plug-in it's just creating that ambience there um, and that's what i want throughout like forever i'm just trying to find the right note that to kind of give it that i for this note Uh, let's get rid of that. Um, feedback forever, maybe too much. <laughs> So um, what I do, um, and this is the last little thing before we kind of uh, keep going here. Um, yeah, those dreamy towels, this is a little plug in. Oh, sorry, this is a little trick that I like to do that's more organic than, than putting a synth down, is you take an element out of the song, something that was in the song, you take an element and you reverse it and, and you put a huge tail of reverb on it. And this is a little trick that you'll find, it just keeps it really, uh, keeps it 
organic and keeps it um, in the one sound. You're not adding this other element, um, you know, and you don't have to search for this other element. You're just creating in the song. So this is what you do. This is, I want to create. I want that to go forever. Cool. So then we go like this and we just commit to that. And all we've done is created this sound, this ambient sound that we're going to fade in and out as we go. Gonna, I want that to come in a little louder during the um, uh, during the chorus. So um, right over here, we're going to pull it down a lot. It's just going to be really ambient. Um, <laughs> the Aussie legend. Well, I think Crocodile Dundee really is the uh, what Mick Dundee. I think he might be the legend. So, um, <laughs> um, but uh, but I love music and I've been doing music. So and I can't. I, I just love little tricks like this. So. Um, Let's not. Do it. So when we come to that chorus, it's more than just a dream. These are the moments worth holding on to. Oh, there it comes in there. Worth holding on to. So uh, remember I was telling you the low frequencies you want to get, look, there's going to be all that, you can actually see it, all these low frequencies hit. I don't want any of that. <laughs> so this is how you clean up a mix. You just cut it out. You know, you can do a real quick uh, little um, a steep cut, you know. play with it. I liked how that came up, but not too much. Worth holding on to. Ah, I think we have a song, guys. I think we have a song. Um, I'm ready to kind of uh, finalize this mix and bounce it down. So um, thank you so much, guys. Let's uh, let's do the final five, 10 minutes, uh, which is the mastering part. Now, a lot of the time I will master the song uh, myself just because I'm doing so many of them. But in a perfect world, um, mastering is really cool. One of the big things that you're paying for, one of the big things you, you try to get someone else to master is fresh ears ears that don't know any of this you just give it to them and uh they listen to it and be like oh this needs to be done. Oh, we need to do this 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 and you're all along thinking oh i love you know it's that's what you're paying for or that's what you want when it comes to mastering a, a whole fresh set of ears now obviously you know uh if you're if you're cranking out tunes all the time you don't you can't have uh, you can't you know you just can't be paying for mastering all the time they, they're just so you, i end up mastering things myself but um, what I'll do, what I do in my process is a couple little uh, tricks that I just go to and they work really well. And, uh, and 
one of the main things with mastering is you've got to get the level up. The level has to sound like it's the, like the track of a radio. It has to get that level. If if it's at a lower level, all of a sudden it feels to the listener, it feels like something wrong with this track. What what's wrong with this track? You know, um, it, it's not as loud, and that's that's just reality. You know, when something's a little quieter, you just think it's not right, or there's louder is better. That's how it is. You know, there's a, a Munson curve. Um, uh, I forget his name, but um, it's when things go louder, it gets sounding more exciting. It's just something that happens in the in science. So so let's go over here. Um, before I add a couple of plugins, let's do a let's get really close to our mix. Save. <laughs> All right, here we go. I feel like I'm lifted. Like I'm on top of the world, oh, nothing's gonna shake me. It's more than just a dream. These are the moments worth holding on to. Suffer here and now These are the moments Worth holding on to I think it's in my vocal actually. I'm actually going to do something a little fun here. Turn it right down there. Oh, I don't even know if this, you can hear it. Um, it's just having a bit of fun. Yeah, who knows? You might, you guys will be the only ones that know. Uh, can you explain what you were just doing? Good question. Um, I was just finalizing the mix. And so what I was doing is pulling volumes up um, and I was um, doing a little bit of EQs. Um, uh, so basically just finalizing. Nothing, nothing really special there. The main stuff was just pulling down levels, making sure the levels are okay. Um, that was main thing is what I was doing. And with the compressor, the comp I don't know what the, the compressors I didn't want them working too hard so I'm just backing it off but I do want to just take off the the tops of things and so it's not so much attack and stuff just jumping out because I want everything to kind of blend in a thing so um 
So I just kind of flew through a bunch of stuff there. You can watch the video and kind of like pause what, what he's doing. But all I was doing there in the last five minutes, just going through, just doing kind of like a, a board mix or a final mix where you just got that 5% where you're just adjusting things. And I already know right now that my ears are kind of like, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm about done. You know, I better, I'm going to wrap this up because um, uh, my ears aren't quite telling me the truth. And so what I like to do is I'll do a mix down and then I'll come back to it tomorrow and there'll be, I usually take three mixes. So anywhere between three, four, four, three or four, it's usually around those numbers of mixes. So I come back with fresh ears and I'm like, whoa, you know, <laughs> my voice is way too loud or the acoustic guitars or what's going on here. And, and, um, but everything else, everything's kind of sounding nice to me at the moment um, for this singer songwriter song. We could go to town and add so much more stuff, but I'm trying not to because, um, because I want it that just just simple, you know, you all can do this, you know, you all can do this. It doesn't matter what, it's just a simple little song. Um, and it's, this will get me placements. There's no doubt in my mind. It's just, it's just, it's a great song and it's a theme that that's requests a lot. So let's just wrap, wrap up in the last, um, the last little bit. Um, I wanna, yeah, that's one thing I wasn't hearing as much of that, that, um, that, just because I'm that living in the here and the now Living just because I'm alive, I'm loving life mm, I'm loving life Just putting a little bit more compressor on the um I'm loving life did was there was trying to find that uh, frequency there's too much of uh, but I don't really trust my ears too much right now so so let's go to the mastering a couple of mastering plugins I like I like to use um, uh, plugin alliance has this dangerous uh, dangerous it's very dangerous <laughs> it's dangerous plugin um, it's by a company called dangerous and uh, this is great I love this plugin um, but it's more of a mastering test you don't need it it's just it's kind of a cool little thing um, plugin alliance has a lot of great stuff and I just have I already did a preset here, Steve's light mastering. And what I did is I just cut off 12, 12 hertz on that low stuff, way down the bottom, just cut it. And I um, cut 70 hertz way up on the high. No one's going to hear that. So just getting rid of it and just cleaning up. And so when people play the song, um, it's not trying to play all this information that they'll never hear. And then I just boosted um, like about six, sorry, seven, um, 7K. There's a tiny little shelf there. So anyway, it's just a little setting that I got. It's really light. And I actually just turned it up like a tiny bit. So I'm always pushing those levels. Life, I... Now on the limiter, we don't want to go past the three. Um, we we just want it to be light. So I've, I've been pushing up my levels the whole time until I get to about negative three here. Um, I don't want to... Life, I... that piano i heard that foot come off the sustain let's just get rid of that um and we are about to mix down still heard it a little bit this sustain forever then it'll fade down all right we mixed down we are there guys
that first part hit a little too hard for me. Knew it. It's these punchy 1176. Last little trick. Um, I like to put a compre uh, an EQ after the after the effects, but um, uh, oh. so um, and I just want to pull down. A I feel I Feel like I'm lifted. Awesome. All right. Bounce, bounce, bounce. We're going to the beach and we're going to bounce the ball, bounce the song. Oh, I'm getting a bit crazy now. All right. Here we go. All right. Save it and we bounce it. So, okay. So, a uh, new singer songwriter song. What did we call this one? Uh, Loving life. Loving life. Uh, wave uh, multiple. I uh, will do interleaving. Twenty-four bit. Yep. Bounce property good. Yep. Everything's good there. Mix one. Sorry, as I said, three times we'll come back to it. Uh, do you bounce in real time to hear? It? No. I'm done by now. <laughs> my my ears are like like like, and I I never I hardly ever go back like. Because when you're by the time you're bouncing down, you've heard it so many times that you're 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 done. You're kind of almost com committing to it, and you're like, "I'll listen to tomorrow. I'll I'll have a listen with fresh ears, and I'll come back to it." So so yeah, offline or online, it doesn't it doesn't affect the the um the doesn't doesn't affect the quality. It used to back in the day, um, but not anymore. So I just bounce it, and um, and then I come back with fresh ears because um you, you really got to have that break. We've been going since. Uh, so three hours, I think. So we did, we did three hours and then um, an hour, about an hour and 15 minutes in the other video. Um, let's just go here. There we are. Now I can see you guys again. <laughs> so it wasn't just a voice coming in. No bathroom break. That's right. That's right. Lucky I, uh, lucky I went before I started. Um, but yeah, so uh, um I noticed you uh, you bounce out using PCM. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check into that. Um, I think that's just the setting I've I've used. Um, um, I don't know why. I, if you ask me why to use it, I don't know. Um, uh, I'll have to check into that. See why. So, um, so remind me what the Maserati does. I like the Maserati for backing vocals. They have a bunch of stuff that they use. Uh, I've got his whole his whole um, collection or whatever, and got guitars and stuff. I don't know. I just I, I tried it out when I got it on um, on um, on backing vocals, and I was like, love it, like like on off on off. I'm like, don't touch a thing, and uh, like other than dialing and in and out and stuff. But that background, I just I loved it. So um, that's what kind of kept me to that one. Uh, it's a great one, you know. And I'll probably change it in in um, <laughs> I'll probably change it. So I should change it sometime. I'm getting a bit uh, uh, you know not sick of it, but um, but uh, I like changing things up, you know. Um, so that's what the Maserati, I only use it for the background vocals. Uh, it's got good for other stuff as well. And I should play around a bit more, but uh, at the end of the day, a lot of the time is all this mixing stuff is to get the song done so that you can get it to your publishers so you can get it placed so that you can do it all again. And so at the end of the day, you know, I, I need to set time aside to play around with, <laughs> play around with different plugins and stuff. Cause uh, there's always a balance. Like sometimes people like me just like next song, next song, next song. And it's all right. We gotta be like, let, let's actually see what this plugin does, you know? Let's, but um, yeah, so I, I've had uh, that that G, the solid state logic um, bus compressor. I've been using that for, uh, gosh, since it came out, I think. Um, yeah, pretty much since, uh, since uh, Waves put it out, which is, maybe 12 years ago. I, lo I love it. I love it. I haven't found anything to beat it. And so, um, yeah. So, all right. So um, uncompressed probably sounds better. I don't know. Um, yeah. If, uh, if you're talking about the, the, um, uh, what, 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 sorry, what, what, what do you mean, James? You have to, um, 
Yeah, I, I, my ears, I'm just like, <laughs> I got to take a break. So why do you have two master tracks? Great said, um, oh, uh, okay, please, okay, I'm compressed, I see. Um, so yeah, I don't want any compression on it because, um, you know, sometimes I will listen back to the MP3, um, but I'm listening more for, for the overall sound and everything. Um, why do you have two master tracks? Good question. Um, what I do is I process everything before it hits the main master. And so basically on the main master, that's my, um, my one channel that I haven't got anything on that channel. And so anything that hits that is like what you would be listening in your studio or what the final listener is going to be. They're going to be looking at, or they're going to be hearing that. I haven't, there's nothing touched it. Everything routes to the other, to my master. And then I put my limiter on it and EQ it and put some mastering plugins on it. Then I send it to the final master, which has no effects on it because I've done it before. Uh, and that's just the way I've kind of I set up and, and I've been you know just running that. So um, awesome, Lisa, great. Well, uh, yeah, and um, I'll, any other questions guys? And I'll, I'll let you go as well. And um, it's, been a, it's been an awesome time hanging with you guys. And, and uh, yeah, and I'm, I hope you guys got a lot out of it and watch, go over the replays a bunch of times and, and check it out. And, um, and I'll post this song in the next few days um, in the, um, the finding your, finding your success. And, uh, and, uh, and you guys can be like, Oh, I remember when he did that. That was the worst idea I ever heard. <laughs> so, um, but we'll, um, I'm so, so thankful that you guys joined me on the journey and uh, when will the replays be up? Uh, hopefully soon. Um, give me maybe two or three days to make sure they're uh, all ready to go and stuff. Uh, this has been recording the whole time, so I've been checking in it, and um, so we're good for that. And uh, yeah, but it should be up the next few days, um, hopefully by Monday. That's what I'm hoping for. So um, uh, make sure you give me your e send me an email at steve at stevecom.com, and I will send you the link. So I I don't think you can do it through Facebook. So you got to make sure if you can if you can make sure you email me steve at stevecolumn.com and um uh you know and um definitely do it if you don't get it on monday then then send me an email and uh you'll uh, i'll have it there for the when, when i post it up there but thanks so much guys for joining me it's been a blast and uh and uh yeah the next one we're going to do we're going to have i'm going to have a lot of fun i'm looking into maybe doing um uh like how to make your singer songwriter song pop like like meaning like like all these current little tricks, like just like the full on production, like a bunch more like adding 808s and, and uh, you know, doing more stuff that you'd hear on the radio. So, so that's kind of some cool things. So anyway, but <laughs> awesome guys. Well, uh, thanks again. And I will see you in the chat and you guys have a wonderful, excellent, wonderful Saturday afternoon and, um, and Saturday evening or um, Sunday for a few people. Um, all my Australian friends, it's, uh, Anzac Day. So, all right, guys, see you soon.